Hi, I'm Kent. I've been slowly working on rebuilding my kiln. Last time I did a full fire and my temperature wasn't getting up as high as I needed to. I suspected it was my elements. So since then I've gone and got new elements and replaced them. I'd never done that before so I didn't film it. I wasn't sure how it was going to go. It wasn't too bad. There are definitely other videos on YouTube that show the whole process. I did have to take the control box off and remount it, which was a little bit of a challenge. I didn't design it to be removed and put back very easily. So with the new elements in place and put in there, I did a couple of uh, simple test fires, got it up to a few hundred degrees. Um, I ran the kiln uh, PID tuning uh, process again, so I got some new parameters for the, for the controller. And yesterday I did a full firing. It looked like it got up the temperature on the graphs um, and seemed to do all right this time. I didn't run into the problems I've had previously. So we're gonna open up the kiln and see how we did. So I didn't put anything on the top shelves. The way I stacked it, I didn't quite have room. I figured this would be a good place for plates or something like that. Let's remove the top shelves. And we can see that we overfired. So this is cone five, six, and seven. So it looks like we even got hotter than cone seven by a fair bit. The cone five should look more like this. So we went probably a couple of cones too high. And I put in my cones from the previous attempt as well. I was curious to see if they would work or not. They'd already been fired to a lower temperature and lost their color. They hadn't bent at all. So I wanted to put them in and see if they would work or not. It seems the answer is yes. These look exactly the same. So here are the two cone sevens that were on this top shelf. All right, we'll move the kiln furniture and look down one level. Well, you can see the cones just peeking out here. So these are looking very similar. So here is cone five, six, and seven again, and they're all laying down. Cone five really did melt. I put some extra kiln furniture in here just to act like pots. I didn't pack it nearly as full, but I wanted to give it a little bit more thermal mass. And not too surprisingly, the bottom has the same thing happen. I guess the good thing is that all of these cones melted in exactly the same way, so I'm getting very consistent temperatures throughout my kiln. Yeah, same thing on the bottom cones. So five is very melted, six laid over, and so did seven too much. So I'm guessing we were probably, what, cone eight? I, I really don't know. Uh, heck, maybe cone nine. So it seems like we're slowly getting closer. Um, so this is my third time trying to fire the kiln to full temperature. We did get a full fire. We actually overfired. So uh, now we're going the other direction, which is good, which means we can pull it back. I'm not exactly sure what's wrong right now. Uh, could be a couple of different things. When I did my second firing and I didn't quite get up to full temperature, um, I killed the software and was debugging it a little bit. And I noticed the temperature jumped uh, between uh, different times I was running the program. So I'm wondering if the sensor is getting into some weird state. So that's one of the things I may want to try. So I'll probably have to try and bring it up to temperature and see if the temperature readings are consistent or not. This particular sensor has an internal temperature adjustment. So as the amb ambient temperature gets hotter, it will also correct for the thermocouple readings. Uh, there may be something going on there. The other thing is there's probably some bugs in the kiln control software itself. I, well, I'm sure there's some bugs. I'm not sure if they are impacting this. Occasionally the web UI will disconnect and it will lose track of where it is. That actually happened during this firing, but it was during the cool down phase. So there could be something there where the cool down phase didn't actually happen properly. Since I overfired, I don't think that's actually causing the issue here, but it's something I want to fix regardless. So next time you see me with my kiln, hopefully we'll have a successful firing. I think we're getting a little bit closer. Each time we seem to be getting a little bit closer. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Thanks. Bye.